What is up, you guys? Welcome to Skullcraft episode 24. Bubble. Bubble. There is a lot I've done since the last episode. Don't know how this looked last episode. Now it looks like this. Um, don't worry, I'm gonna expand it furthermore. Kind of have a staircase down to what is going to be the armory. That's what it looks like. This is all going to be interior stuff. Um, what it's gonna look like from the outside, and thank god it stopped raining. Um, is let's come out here just so we can take a look at it and yeah it looks like that so it's gonna have a nice slanted roof with dormers in it and all by the way dormers are pretty much triangles sticking out of the out of the build so um one thing i want to say is i want to kind of change my my let's play style i want to do kind of a world tour style now because i decided i don't really like doing anything on camera besides showing you what i have done so I removed the cobblestone or the smooth stone little railing things here. Now I just have this. Um, this is kind of like a pathway here. It comes over to the future armory. Um, this is going to be going to the basement level. I'm going to have some staircases here that come up to the second level. i um, not sure what's going to be there. Down here I might have chests and storage. Or I'm actually not quite sure. Just, just there to look good mainly. Hey yo. Sorry, you can probably hear my parents talking in the background, a little bit of background noise. Um, so let's let's come over here. Oh, wow, everybody just joined. Uh, wow. So, I'm sorry guys, a little bit of an interruption. But, I can't remember where I was. A little bit of changed up here. I have all these now. These all have walls. Um, we have a little temporary walkway down here. Nothing has really changed other than that, but I've been messing around the last few days mostly on the server. One thing, one really cool thing I'd like to show you is over here. Let me come over here just so I can show you guys. So I have this nice staircase up here. Um, yeah, nobody knows what to do because they, they don't know. Just to start a big project. That's that's how you entertain yourself. Um, this spiral staircase is something very cool. Um, okay, I'm just gonna little pull up here. If you're standing here, in real life you swing your sword like that, right? Um, if you're up here and you swing your sword like this, you can hit the other the opponent. But if the opponent is also right-handed and they swing their sword, they hit the pole. So that's, that's something I found really cool. And if we drill little holes out here, we can kind of use them as like sniper, sniper. Um, windows. I have a whole bunch of them going down. As you can see, um, it also provides kind of like a staircase to all the levels. Um, obviously, this is incomplete looks that we have here because I'm still working on everything. Another plan I have now is over here. I'm gonna have a humongous living quarter space that it's gonna kind of come out here. It's gonna be between this pathway here and here. And once it gets farther back behind here, it's going to expand out that way and expand out this way. Over here, I'm going to have a big iron golem farm here in the middle. But if I am to start those things, I need to finish the task on hand. And that's kind of finishing up this area. I'm not sure if I like the look. It's kind of too dark up there. I need to add some lights, but that's not hard to do. And there's creepers spawning up there. Do I have an ender pearl? Let's see if this works out. Oh, I missed by a mile. That was lucky one hit. No! Oh, yeah. So, I bought some glowstone. Um, obviously, you're not going to be able to see this place good enough to tell that it's so rough, rough up here. But, you know, just add a couple bits of light so it's not so dark. Yeah, it looks a lot better than it did before, in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah. I really like how that looks. Over here it looks a little bit rough, but, you know, you can't make the entire castle extremely detailed. Uh, it's just too much work. Um, it also looks a little bit rough over here. Um, I still need to add the pathway in to make it have that complete look, more or less. More or less. Um, uh, furthermore, I have started a humongous arch here. This thing was a pain make kind of symmetrical, it's still not perfectly symmetrical. Like that block up there, 
that block appears offset, but then that one's longer than that one, so it becomes symmetrical again. But really, it, I, I doubt you guys can see the difference, and if you can, wow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start building this arch um, once I finish this side and that side. But here's the problem with doing symmetrical builds. You do one side, you have to do the other side the same, um, which I kind of find annoying. Um, because... Yeah, that's what that's why I'm gonna try to stick stick away from symmetry a little bit now that um, I've done more than just that. Oh crap! Yeah, my castle. You could, you could also call the mob spawner. And let me turn my sound down a bit because it's probably way overpowering my voice right now. Um, so you know, building building like I am is pretty tedious. Most of the time, you just place blocks and up here and on that side, it's gonna be a humongous potato farm. Um, the wheat farm is going to be down there and there. And once again, remember, I'm going for function as well as good looks, which is kind of difficult. Um, this one's going to be a water wash. Over there, it's going to be a light blinker. So I'm just going to blink the lights, and that's how we're going to uh, harvest the crop. And if it's not dark enough, um, I can have kind of water wash coming from the ceiling, just like, because, uh, like, I'm just telling you uh, how I'm going to, break the crop so, so I don't have to do it manually. Um, if you don't know what I mean by a water wash, it's just you pour water over the crops with pistons and um, then it breaks the crop and with lights, if lights are over zero, then the crops will break. So like they'll just pop off. So that's another way to harvest your crops. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how this big flat ceiling is going to work, but you know, it, it's kind of difficult to, to add detail to something so high up. Oi Wu Tu Tang. Would you use anybody know what that means? Because I don't. Uh, Wu Tu. I don't know what he's trying to say. <laughs> he confuses me a lot. Whoa, what up? What you up to? Um, building. Hopefully he doesn't Skype me because I'm gonna have to. Then everybody will know his Skype. He knows what I'm doing, I'm just gonna ignore him. Uh, so yeah. Th this, this big flat space up here, um, it's gonna be the, the, the potato farm, as I was saying. Um, it's gonna be pretty big. Um, I'm going for efficiency too, not just good looking, and I have a pretty decent idea of what I want to do. Um, I want to just kind of kind of make it look like it was supported on like framework and just kind of have it come down on each side um, and I'll have a nice stairway that goes up to it and it's gonna be my, my I think I might live in another pool um, yeah uh, it's gonna look pretty cool it's gonna be made mostly out of wood I think because I don't know, I just feel like using some wood. I've been using a lot of stone over there. Um, now, yeah. why don't we get started? Uh, I saw a gravel fire. Okay. Oh, by the way, I added unbreaking to my sword. It's now sharp as V. Because I found out you can use books to add enchants to even something with as many enchants as, as my sword currently has. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to assume this is approximately the. Oh, this was upside down half slabs. Um, that's actually convenient because that means I can add half slabs here to make it look really nice, and I can just use some. Yeah, this is actually what I really wanted. Uh, I wanted to. Have... I don't like the flat look. Um, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh no, I need some more wood slabs. Wood slabs. Um, yeah, as you can see, building, it's pretty, pretty tedious, um, but I, I like it, uh, mainly because it's so satisfying thinking you created something so, so big and so awesome, you know? I I'm really kind of jelly of Nevers' builds, honestly. They're probably my favorite out of anybody on Minecraft, especially his underground base. Man, that thing is huge, and... That's what she said. Uh, also, I love his um, build in the Minecraft FTV server. Um, that's pretty awesome, too. Um, he has 
she just knows how to satisfy my tastes in building. Uh, so yeah, let's kind of get a little, a little, um, ah, oh, that's kind of scary. Uh, little bit of kind of space going. Uh, let's have it like this and like that, and let's have planks here. I always like to have things offset. Things look so much better when they're offset. Um, also, I might do a face cap sometime. I do have a face cap, by the way. Um, I just have to figure out how to how to turn it on while I'm screen recording at the same time because I don't know how. Uh, so, yeah, uh, might do that. Uh, if, if you guys could give me some technical advice, that would be pretty helpful. Honestly, probably though. Nobody really cares about. You got ten obby. I don't know what that means either. Oh, I think he means obsidian. I don't know. Nope. Uh. So yeah. Uh. You might be wondering what I'm doing right now. This is setting up a kind of a base thing in the baba. Let's see. Let's come over here. And let's see how far back we can keep expanding this platform. Uh, yeah, if we bust this out, I think we can extend the platform quite a bit more. Uh, let's see. I don't usually tear things down, but, you know, sometimes, yeah, you want to kind of rip something out to expand it. Um, I think I might take this out too and make this platform a lot bigger. Yeah, this is a double path slab, I just noticed, so that's pretty annoying. Just placing it back down is going to be a biatch. <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like I'm wasting all these blocks right now, but I can't do very much about that. See, if I place... Oh, wait, can it? Is this just regular oak wood? Oh, yeah, it's just... Lol. Um... Ah! Let's pull this all the way back here. Oh, uh, no! Oh, damn. So, yeah. I think I'll be back once I have some more work done. And, yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. I want to end off here. I know this episode is already quite long, so I guess I'll show you what I've been doing up on the castle. Next time, mining for both cobble and um, uh, resources. Uh, currently, I have a full ender chest. And, yep, yeah, I found some diamonds here. Um... I just want to prove I'm not cheating. Look at how long these the guys are. And I can also show you guys what it's like back at my mine shaft next time. But, yeah, we got Silk Touch. And let's see how many diamonds we got. Oh my god. We have a 10. We have a 10. Yeah, this has been really lucky. I found an 8 earlier today. Um, if you guys don't know, 10 is the max diamond spawning vein. Um, the average is 3.907, um, so yeah, uh, diamonds spawn up to 10 veins, so they're hyper rare. I found two 10 veins in my life now, um, so this is the second one. I actually dug it out first, and then I replaced it. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm in a mine shaft. Uh. In a mine shaft, I'm digging. Okay. So yeah, I guess I'm signing off. Um, see you guys next time.